thanks all you all for coming. And uh, I was out listening a little bit on the first half, and an audience member said to me, "Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be good if you guys would just talk a little about all these different trombones and different sized instruments and stuff?" Some of you may know this, but since one person asked, <laughs> we'll talk about it. This baby one here is an alto trombone, and uh, since we're playing the magic flute, uh, when we play that music in the orchestra, I would use this small instrument. It's pitched a fourth higher than that one. Right, and this is the called the tenor trombone, and this is the the size of trombone that uh, normally uh, a, a student would, would begin with in sixth grade or fifth grade, like I started in sixth grade, for example. Uh, the, the only thing that's really different about some of the horns up here, that, uh, you, you may notice that there's some extra tubing up here, and um, uh, what, what this does is it allows us to uh, reach some notes uh, that we would normally have to go out to sixth and seventh positions, we just hit the vowel. And that really, it really helps us out a lot. A lot. It gives us a, an extra, some extra lower notes that, uh, that are helpful. And if you're, if you're really special, you get to have uh, two vowels. And uh, we're. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I always knew I was special. <laughs> trombones, not only is there a difference in length, but there's a difference in how big this tube is. And when you were listening to Wayne, Wayne's set, those guys were using instruments that had smaller bores, we call it, um, than we are using. And likewise, my bore is smaller than Steve and John, and Jerry's it's better. 